What's up everybody? Welcome to your C++ tutorial on pointers. Now, in the last tutorial I told you guys how to make an address operator to show you guys where in your memory the variables were stored. And in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pointer. And what a pointer is, is a variable that holds the address in your memory. So it pretty much is a variable that points to the address in your memory. Just saying it twice. but. So the first thing that we're going to want we're going to want to do when we're building a pointer is declare the pointer or tell C++ that we're going to be working with it. So the first thing that you need to do is tell what type of data you're going to be working with is it, and this is the same type of data that you're going to be using for your variable. For example, if this was a char or double, then you're going to want to write char or double when declaring your variable. But since this is an integer, you're going to want to write integer for a pointer. So we have an integer pointer, and the syntax to declare a pointer is star. And it's actually called an asterisk. It's a symbol above the A, but I usually call it a star, so just deal with it. And then you can name your pointer anything you want. I'm going to name mine pointer because I am that creative. And then once you're done declaring your pointer, C goes, all right. I can see that you're going to be working with a pointer, but what do you want to point to? What address in your memory that do you want to point to? And since it asks, we have to answer it. We go, all right. Since we already have this variable called pointer that we just declared right here, you don't need to use the asterisk because that's just declaring it. We're going to say, all right, our variable pointer is equal to the address. And, and remember from our last tutorial, we use the ampersand for the address um it's the location of our uh the memory you use the ampersand and it shows you where the address is and you can use any of these finger or eyes i'm going to use finger so so far just to recap we declared a pointer called pointer and then we told c++ all right this pointer is equal to whatever the address of memory is a finger so to prove you guys, prove to you guys that this has worked, I'm gonna output on the screen pointer. And if everything goes right, then this should output on the screen the memory in your address that finger is equal to. Again, if I outputted the variable finger, it would be equal to 10. But since I outputted the address of memory where it points to, it should be some crazy hexadecimal code. So come on, compile, no whammy, no whammy, come on, hexadecimal code. And there we go. It says 0x22ff44. And again, this is the address in your memory that your pointer is pointing to. So again, to recap one more time, and if you're saying, all right, this is really confusing, it's because, well, it is confusing pretty much. C++ is confusing, but I'm trying to make you guys it real easy for you guys we have a variable we declared the variable and we declared the pointer and what a pointer does is pretty much point to the space in your memory so what space in your, your uh, memory do you want to point to we want to point to wherever in your memory the variable finger is so in right here we just output it on the screen where is it this is your place in your memory on your computer. This is what your computer is seeing right now. That's where your variable finger is stored. So this will make a lot more sense when we actually use it to do something useful. But for right now, just study this tutorial. Learn how to build a basic pointer and learn the basics of what it does. And in my next couple tutorials, this is all going to come together and it's going to be a lot more useful in your applications. So thanks for watching. Remember to go to my site, thenewboston.com, and I'll see you next time.